Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back at it here on this Friday. Yes, it is. It's Friday, June 23rd, 2023. It's about, uh, oh, 11 a.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. 2.0 here in Texas and also a deep 5.5 earthquake here uh, just north of Japan into the, uh, looks like the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. 317 kilometers deep there for that 5.6 Kuril Kamchaka Trench up here. Um, definitely primed for some larger scale movement. I think the deeper, the more deeper activity that we see in this area is uh, going to just mean that the earthquake activity up here is going to be bigger. Uh, definitely, I, I believe we're overdue for a longer or at least a larger earthquake here in this area. It's been a little while. We did have a... Uh, um, well, I was looking at earthquakes here uh, historically. Um, in fact, getting ready to work on my San Andreas Fault uh, video, which will be put out this afternoon. But uh, back here in... Um, 2020 I believe it was we had that 7.5 here along the Kuril Kamchaka Trench a little bit of little bit of time has passed since then but um, 7.5 is kind of a um, I don't know I think this area can definitely get some larger quake activity than that type of magnitude so that's why I, I, I kind of focus on this a lot because I know the potential that this um, subduction zone has it's a major a major player in producing some large earthquakes. So now, just for now, we got uh, 5.6, 317 kilometers deep. All right, let's see what else we got uh, across the area of the uh, world. Looks like the Atlantic Ocean getting uh, a little bit of movement out here in a swarm fashion, or a small little sequence of swarms uh, north of the Azores here down in this area. Right along the plate boundary, it looks like it's just off of... Uh, not for sure which fracture zone that is, but they call it the Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, this section here of the uh, oceanic crust. 5.1, the largest that kicked off this morning. It looks like these are within a couple hours of each other. Three earthquakes so far. We'll continue to uh, watch this. It's been awfully quiet out here. Definitely quiet in terms of movement. All right, uh, working our way east, looks like a little bit of movement across the uh, Greece area this morning. Had a 4.1 earthquake 3D globe here. Uh, does show some activity across the region. Fours and uh, some twos and whatnot over around Turkey in this cluster. That's very typical. Aftershock activity there can continue for months, if not years, following the larger events there in Turkey uh, earlier this year. Uh, over here across the Indonesia region and the Philippines, getting a swarm of threes south into the Indonesia area where we did see a, uh, looks like a 4.1 into this area. 4.7, that was from yesterday, but there's definitely quite a bit of earthquake activity here listed east of that 4.7. See that one right here, About I think that's a 4.1. Uh, that's shown up here on the earthquake 3D globe there from the EMSC model. Some movement from yesterday across the Java Trench. That's uh, definitely spread out uh, equally out there. A couple fours kicking off late last night. And uh, oh, it looks like we did have another one back building here early this morning. A little bit deeper though. Uh, close to the Java Sea, but here into the Java Trench. 120 kilometers deep for that four-pointer. Over here around Solomon Islands. Doesn't look like too much activity kicking up here today. This is our quiet zone. Eventually this will fill in. Um, down here across the Tonga Trench and New Zealand area south. Let's see what we got. Looks like the majority of this is from yesterday. At least the USGS reporting that from yesterday. Did have 5.0 here north of the Kermadec Islands. And New Zealand looks like they're reporting a couple smaller quakes down here around the North Island area so uh, let's just double check that here with the New Zealand uh, web page <clears throat> see what's going on 2.9 2.5 
Check out the earthquake drums here. Northern Islands, North Island section here would show some of that activity. There it is. It looks like some of the uh, movement that was showing up there on the globe. It looks as though, let's go back here to the earthquakes, earthquake map. 13 kilometers deep for that 2.9. Let's bring up all magnitudes here so we can see what's going on. Some of this earthquake activity occurring off the North Island won't be felt, so it will be on a noticeable earthquake map here. So 2.5, 1.4, there's that 3.8. I was looking for that. 183 kilometers deep. That was four hours ago. That is associated there with the Hikurangi subduction zone. Again, that's just off the North island area gonna be roughly within this zone right here outside around the bay of plenty area the hikarangi subduction zone extends right about here that's another area that's uh else well, i would say it's definitely prime for some large-scale movement you know we haven't really uh seen any major adjustment out here in uh quite a while i don't recall the last time they believed the uh Big one struck off the North Island coast, but uh, there's little signs of it out there. Let's see what else we got. South America region, uh, pretty quiet, at least according to the USGS here. We do have a 4.4 up around the uh, Peru area, it looks like. Ecuador, maybe, within this area, not showing up on the USGS map. Um, pretty shallow earthquake. Also, a little twos here, a few twos down across the Peru Chile Trench. Nothing major going on there today. Last night's activity across the Middle America Trench still looks like it's continuing into today with a little bit of migration northward here off the coast of Mexico, 4.3. Um, that uh, earthquake right here, well, shows Guatemala. Well, I guess it is around the Guatemala area. 98 kilometers deep here into this area of the Middle America Trench. That's just one of them. I think we've got a few more kicking up out here, uh, at least according to the globe here. Uh, the states, let's go ahead and zoom up here. Not seeing anything major today. 2.5 map and above. Nothing going on across the eastern portion of the country. Here in the west coast, Got a 2.5 down in Arizona, 2.7 south of the border, and uh, the rest of the activity there from yesterday. So a little scattered movement on a broader scale today. Uh, I'm not seeing any major swarming going on across the southern portion of the state for now. Uh, the San Andreas Fall is currently sleeping. I'm going to do a uh, pretty lengthy discussion on this plate boundary here. Um, I'm going to be working on it throughout the day today, but, um, well, I have been working on it throughout the morning. I'm going to have it ready today, probably this afternoon time period. I'll put it out, um, and hopefully you guys will get a notification on that video when it goes live on the channel. Just going to dig into a little bit more details about the San Andreas Fault, look at historical data, potentials for future earthquake activity and whatnot, uh, should be an interesting little discussion. But for now, um, it sleeps. Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot going on up there. So let's go look here real quick. Just want to double check and verify. I like to verify my, my information I'm getting right. All about the facts. Not a whole lot of activity, at least according here to the recorded seismograph stations. Uh, that quake looks like it's a distant quake somewhere. Not for sure which one that may be. Not seeing anything large kicking off here. It's possible it could be uh, this 5.6 that came in. and It's pretty deep. A lot of times these seismograph stations up here in Wyoming, Yellowstone, doesn't matter where, uh, will pick up distant earthquakes. But that one's pretty deep, so triggered a little bit of uh, seismic wave there across the area. Atlantic or uh, the uh, Alaska area 2.5 and above only a handful nothing major going on up there mostly smaller microquake activity across the Alaska region today the 
big island of Hawaii. Twos. Let's go ahead and check out the hazard notification system here on the Kilauea Volcano. Since it is currently in pause, pause mode. The summit eruption there at the volcano is currently paused following a rapid decline in vent and lava lake activity Monday afternoon. Of course, we uh, seen a little bit of inflation following that decline in activity, which is indicative there of magma uh, accumulating underneath the surface. So it's currently in the pause stage. A glance here at the uh, volcano hazards map. I'll bring up Kilauea Volcano. Show you guys the tilt meter out here. And by the way, anyone can check out this information. It's publicly available there through the usgs.gov slash volcanoes slash Kilauea, at least in this one and any other volcano you want to witness or look at there on the Big Island and Hawaii Islands area. So tilt meters are going to be, there's quite a few that don't work out here. Uh, why, I don't know, but I'm not in charge of the USGS. Here is the tilt meter stations out here. This goes back the last two days. Still seeing uh, somewhat of an uptrend here of inflation that's swelling uh, there on the map there at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. That's very indicative there of magma brewing below, accumulating. And that has been the, uh, the trend uh, since the pause in the eruptions uh, since last Monday. Seismograph stations, though, still indicating uh, not a whole lot of activity. I still see some what looks like harmonic tremor here in the background levels. Uh, earthquake activity very minimal currently uh, but I expect that possibly to kick back up prior uh, to the next phase there in the uh, eruption even though it's just paused uh, I still think we're not done with this yet all right space weather activity here and then I gotta jump on getting that San Andreas fault video worked on overnight fairly quiet we did see an M flare kick up last night earlier last night current flare threat right now 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 40 and the x flare probability at 10. there are numerous sunspots and i am talking about numerous sunspots out here uh, this is pretty much the most i've seen in a very long time uh, these are all unnamed sunspots but these are all sunspots nonetheless there's there's a massive amount of them look at this um and these are just the ones that are numbered up here. At least 13 of them up there. There's probably way more. Um, the majority of these are fairly stable in terms of, you know, the uh, complex structure of the magnetic fields that they harbor. Uh, but I still think, let's look at the, uh, the most recent. Look at this one. Look how this has died off rapidly overnight. Last night, this was looking a little bit more complex. It threw out a uh, moderate M flare. <clears throat> Goodness, just died off rapidly. Um, yeah, numerous sunspots, but goodness. I mean, you could have a hundred of these peppered throughout the disc here, and they could all just sit there and float on by. Well, at least rotate on by there on the sun without even sparking up a little spark. You gotta have the complex structure here to create that special spark between the polarity regions here that create a flare. And uh, goodness, maybe, maybe potentially in this area, and it looks like maybe the sunspot region here, it's getting a little bit more complex structure in it. But I'm a little disappointed here. This one rapidly declined. And the newer sunspot here in the northeastern limb doesn't look all that promising either. It looks like last night it was starting to develop a different uh, core structure up here that has uh, even dissipated right this is today's right June 23rd yep it's down here on the bottom kind of hard to see but it's right there 623 yeah I don't know weird stuff going on so things are currently calm I mean look at this right here we're on the low side of the sea flare category that's going to be the x flare or the uh, x-ray flare class over here m x and so on so i think we're entering into a little quiet period right now like i said i'm i don't think we're going to see any major flares from what we're seeing right now here they died off pretty rapidly um and the uv 
filter ray here shows about the uh, the same thing. Really, nothing promising that I can see on the uh, on these sunspots. I'll continue to watch it though. Uh, no major auroras forecasted. I don't think we're looking at any major CMEs. There's that CME from that M flare uh, yesterday. Notice how that was pointed towards the south, away from Earth. Definitely not on the Earth Sun plane. Uh, so that's not go Earth Sun line plane. So no impact is expected. Hopefully, we can get this to change, folks. We're entering into solar maximum here. This cycle 25 here, progression map. Shows us still well above the predicted stage, which will peak out in the summer of 2025. I mean, yeah, we're just getting going, but yeah, we're still ahead of schedule. But these sunspots are not, uh, they're not living up to uh, <laughs> what I would hope they would live up to. I mean, these flares here are kind of interesting to watch. And the effects here on Earth are very interesting to study in terms of the, uh, you know, our electrical grid and everything else we're dependent on when it comes to electronics. I'd like to see the effects of what happens um, during strong events. Definitely uh, a good study. But either way, we're still ahead. Uh, we'll continue to watch that. 2025 is when we're supposed to peak out. And then we'll go back down into the uh, solar minimum there, 2032 or so. That's a ways in the future. All right, uh, weather activity here today. Current day one threat shows an enhanced risk with a 5% chance for tornado probabilities out there in eastern Wyoming. Looks like some wind and some hail threats as well out there across those uh, areas. Thunderstorm outlook today, eh, getting a little bit out here in Northern California and Southern Oregon area. I don't think we'll see any down in the Sacramento Valley, but uh, mainly in the mountains today. Wouldn't be surprised to see some uh, thunderheads building up out there. All right, folks, Friday. It is Friday. I will be putting out that San Andreas Fault study video. A little bit later this afternoon. Um, yesterday was kind of a busy day. I put out three videos, uh, two videos and one live stream. So that uh, used up all three notifications there from YouTube. So I doubt if there's going to be a notification specifically on this video. Uh, but for the San Andreas Fault one uh, that's coming out later this afternoon, it should be available for as a notification goes so hopefully um, you guys get a chance to see that. Alrighty, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight. Look for that video. Have a good one.